Good morning, and welcome to St. Mother Theodore Guerin Parish. Today, we celebrate Pentecost. As we come together as one in the Lord, let us turn to our neighbor and say hello. Our gathering song will be sing a new song, or sorry, come and enter the Lord's house, number 39 in your Garen songbook. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. As we gather here this morning to celebrate the Pentecost, this is the birthday of the Church. Let us come and ask the Holy Spirit to be upon us, to come upon us, so that He will strengthen us and give us courage so that we continue to try to be faithful to the Lord in our lives. So let us gather here and ask the Lord for forgiveness as well for the time we fail to love God and others in our own lives. Come to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to save sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, 
we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on me, on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen, amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. And let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gift of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Feel now once more the hearts of believers. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. And today we also have the Liturgy of the Word for children, so I invite Miss Jackie, please come forward, and I invite all the children, all the children, please come forward here. If you have any children, you can gather here, and, and uh, Miss Jackie will help you with the scripture. So you can come in front here. Any children in the pew you want to join, so please come up here. Yes, I got a few of you can stand out at that time, that's fine. My dear children, you will now go and to hear God's word, to praise God's song, and to reflect the wonderful thing that God has done for us. May you open your eyes, open your ears, and open your heart to God's word. We will await your return so that together we may celebrate the Eucharist. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise, like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. 
At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthenians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to, to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Our psalm response will be, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The Lord, O oh my soul, O oh Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O oh Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit. And renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they die, and they return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit of life, they are created in your sight. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. on the breezing beautiful morning Sunday morning like today you know Manson's mother hurries into his bathroom and tell him to get up and go to church and you know Manson he just uh, just mumbles and you know try to respond that I don't want to go and the mother said that's silly that's nonsense you need to go to church and Ben said afterward, he said, I give to you two reasons that I don't want to go to church. First, that I don't like them and they don't like me. And the mother did look at the son and say, oh, that nonsense, that's silly. You need to go to church and I'll give you two reasons why you have to go to church. First of all, you are 40 years old and the second thing, you are the pastor. <laughs> I like you all, so I'm, that's not me, okay? <laughs> But the reason I'm telling that story, you know, today is the birthday of the church. Today is a Pentecost. If you wake up in the morning, if your parents have wake up, sometimes you say, I don't want to go. But at least, maybe you should respond, I don't want to go. You tell them the reason. But I'm, I'm happy that you are here today. You're here today because we want to come. You want to come here to celebrate the Eucharist. You want to come here because the Lord is on our, on our midst. You want to come here because the Holy Spirit is with us. This is the birth of the church. You know, the church without the Spirit, the church without the Holy Spirit is like an organization. It's like a social club. Like you go to the golf club, you go to different social club that just gather together. But this is not a social club. This is not an organization. This is the church that was founded and Jesus Christ was the one who is in, in our church and St. Peter is the head of the church and the Holy Spirit is come up upon us and present in our midst. You know, the Holy, I used to look at the Holy Spirit, that the symbol of the Holy Spirit is a dove. That the dove, that the one of the symbol of the Holy Spirit and another symbol of the Holy Spirit is the wind. Sometimes we don't see the wind but you can see the effect of it and the fire. You see the first reading today, how the apostle and our blessed mother, and they were in their room. And certainly there's a strong wind you who know, came into the room. And everybody, they have like a tongue, like a fire tongue on everyone's head. And they receive the Holy Spirit afterward. They speak in different languages. Even they never spoke that language. And they went out and they spoke and people, different languages, they all understand. They all heard about the message and they would rejoice. Many of them, you know, came to believe. And the gospel today, how Jesus appeared to the apostle, they were afraid. But when Jesus came to them, bring them peace and they, he breathed on them the Holy Spirit. And after that, they were not afraid. They got the Holy Spirit with them. 
That is what the Holy Spirit came at the beginning to the church, and it still exists today. The church is still alive because of the Holy Spirit is still working. We need to trust in the Holy Spirit, and also we need to know that without the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. If you reflect upon the gospel and also the readings today, second reading, Saint Paul tells us there's many different gifts, and those are spiritual gifts. That's a gift of the Holy Spirit. And we all share. It's like we all have many parts: the hands, the eyes, the mouth. Everything need each other, and the heart. You know, you cannot have only the hand if you don't have a heart. If you don't have blood flowing, so we, the body, we need each other. It's like the church. We all need each other. We all need to share it. Share many gifts, many talents. I'm sure you have many gifts. You have a few. A lot of young people today. Today they're going to commit themselves for those who receive the the、uh, confirmation, you know, in October. But on the day of our baptism, we all receive the the, the Holy Spirit. But on our, at our confirmation, that the Holy Spirit work in us, so we are more mature. So I'm sure the young people today,、uh, when you make a commitment. And when you receive the Holy Spirit at confirmation, you will be mature in your faith, and you don't need your parent to tell you wake up, go to church. But you say, I want to go on my own. I believe in God. So that's why I'm. I hope all the young people today, you make that commitment. That is a serious commitment. It's like it's not like I want to get through and that's it. No, this is commitment that what we all in our church together. And I'm I'm happy to see many of you. I'm happy to see the church fully alive. You know, after the pandemic, we we don't see many people. And hopefully, let us pray to the Holy Spirit. If you don't feel like going to church, you don't feel like praying. You don't feel like you have don't have energy, or you feel like complacent. Maybe pray to the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit to re-energize, to re-enkindle in your heart, so that you can. Go out. It's like the apostles. At the beginning, they were afraid, but you see how the Holy Spirit come upon them, how Jesus gave them peace, and they not afraid to go out to bring the good news of Jesus to others. So today, as we celebrate the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Holy Spirit to come upon us, to come upon our church, to invite the Holy Spirit to be in our family, in our community, so that we. Can share our gifts, can share our talents. You know, people have gifts of healing, people have gifts of teaching, people have the gifts of singing. You know, many, many dif- dif- different gifts, and we need to share that. We need to share, and I'm happy to have many of you in our community as well. Let us share our gifts. Let us share. Be volunteers. We share gift of Eucharistic minister, a gift of ushering. You know, a gift of proclaiming the words. And many things, many of us will make our community to grow, will make our society to grow. So we build up the kingdom of God on earth through the gift of the Holy Spirit, through the language of love. You see how the readings today reflect upon. They share that language together. We are different, but we can share one language, the language of love, and we can share together and build up the body of Christ. We are one body. We are united through the Holy Spirit. So let us pray. If we are not, you know, we not faithful enough. If we don't have energy to do anything, maybe to pray to the Holy Spirit, so that we can share our gifts. So don't bury that gift on the ground. That one of the gospel Jesus told us, we have to share that gift. And those gifts, that's the gift of the Holy Spirit. Without the gift of the Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. It's like Jesus breathed on the apostle. It's like at the beginning when God created us. You know, we are nothing, but when the Holy Spirit breathed on us, we have life. So the Holy Spirit is like life. It makes it to alive again, to live again, to be alive. What does it mean to be alive? To be alive, which means we have to. Do the work of the Holy Spirit. We have to do the work that Jesus asks us to do. We have to do the mission, and we pray that the Holy Spirit will give us strength when we are weak. Give us courage. You know, give us guidance. Give us, you know, 
console us and try to help us be an our advocate so we're not afraid to stand up for the truth we're not afraid to bring the good news of Christ to others and when we do that as we heard the response story song we will rekindle you know the face of the earth so that we continue to serve the Lord and to glorify his name in our own lives Now please be seated because today, as I said, we have the commitment uh, for the all the confirmation. So I'd like to invite Ms. Ruthann, please come forward. This morning, the St. Mother Theodore Guerin Confirmation Class of 2022 has joined us along with their parents and sponsors. Today, they have been invited to make a prayerful commitment to seriously undertake all preparation necessary for the Sacrament of Confirmation. The Sacrament of Confirmation will be celebrated on Sunday, October 9th by Bishop Kevin, Kevin Birmingham. It is in confirmation that we renew our baptismal vows and are publicly confirmed in the Church's membership. The Sacrament of Confirmation binds us more closely to the Church by deepening the commitment to be a witness to Jesus, to spread and defend the faith. Confirmation anoints and strengthens us for the mission of Jesus. As at baptism, we are marked with a permanent character or seal of the Lord. Candidates must present a sincere desire to be confirmed and be willing and active participants in this preparation. Parents play a primary role in the preparation of their children by attending weekly Mass with their child and supporting their child during this journey. Sponsors are being asked to take an active role in the candidate's life by sharing their faith and time. The sponsor is the candidate's role model for the Christian way of life. The candidates, the parents, and sponsors of confirmation, please stand. Just the candidate, the parents, and sponsors. So we ask each uh, candidate, please respond, I do, after each question. Please say it out loud so I can hear you up here. Dear candidate, to be a confirmed member of the church brings the responsibility of witnessing to Christ and trying to live each day as a true follower of Christ. Now I ask you, all candidates of confirmation, do you wish to continue growing in the life of faith which was begun in baptism and has continued with you through the Eucharist? And you say loud so the whole church can hear you. Okay. Do you promise to attend weekly Sunday Mass? This is important. I wanted to hear this. Do you promise to attend weekly Sunday Mass, be of service to your family, parish, and community, and to participate in all the aspects of confirmation preparation? Okay, good. So, dear parents and sponsors, are you willing to support your child and candidate to dialogue, encouragement, and prayer as they prepare for sacrament of confirmation? And dear parishioners, are you willing to support and pray for these young people as they prepare for sacrament of confirmation? I do. So I now ask the confirmation candidate to please come forward and sign their name as a pledge of commitment. There's two places for here for you to come up and sign.
Not everyone is here today, so some who are not here, maybe they might have to come back and sigh. But uh, for those who are here, I just ask you to uh, congregate to extend your right hand and to pray for all the candidates at this time. May the Holy Spirit descend upon all the confirmation candidates, give them the strength and sincerity needed to approach the sacramental preparation for this coming year. We pray for their parents. May our Lord open their heart to an increase of faith as they support their children during this important time of preparation. We pray for the confirmation sponsor. May the Holy Spirit guide them as they walk prayerfully with the candidate during this time of preparation and always. And may God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you for your commitment. Let us give our affirmation to all our confirmation. We'll see you. And you're back to your seat. Back to your seat. Back to your seat. Please stand. Let's be profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of Man. Maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, life from God, to God from to God, be God not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to church the living and the death and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of death and the life of the world to come. Amen. So moved by the Spirit, let us join our heart and our soul together in asking the Father to hear our prayers. That our broken world may know unity, healing, and peace, and that the beautifully varied family of nations live together in harmony and mutual respect. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That neither language nor culture prove to be a barrier in the spreading of the gospel and the growth of the universal church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that all who speak in different languages may understand one another through living out the language of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit spread and increase throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That those being baptized into our faith community, Mac, Nestor, Aranga, always know God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick, especially those listed in our bulletin, know the healing power of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all the dead who sleep in Christ find rest and peace in the loving embrace of the risen Lord, especially Bruno Damaso, Pamela Schultes, John Dozanski, Jim Perm Perna. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the intentions for which this Mass is offered, Frank Pudlow, Roman and Anna Romagnac, Frank Cusera, Richard Ritter, Attilio Manfredini, birthday. Addie Mae Matoyer, birthday. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, hear our prayers presented to you with love and trust in your goodness, and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have second collection today is for the school and for the religious education fund. Thank you for your generosity.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion. You bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit as the Church came to both, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God, and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with passport joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created, rightly give you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the more of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and your glorious martyrs, with Saint Mother Theodore Guerin, Saint Celestine, and Saint Cyprian, and with all the saints whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and place our bishop, the order bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. And listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. To Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us share some sign of peace with one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter.
for those worshiping with us via the live stream this morning. Please bow your head and join us in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O 
O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Please join us after the 8 a.m. Mass at St. Cyprian's on Tuesday, June 7th for Our Lady of Fatima Devotion. The Respect Life Committee is joining Lena at this Wednesday's Rosary in the St. Celestine Chapel at 7 p.m. for a special intention of respect for human life. Please come and pray with us. There is still time to sign your child up for Totus Tuus, our summer Bible youth camp for the week of June 19th at St. Celestine's. See the bulletin for information. Envelopes with our Father's Day Novena cards are available in the vestibules. Cards are due back by June 16th. There yeah, we have two more weeks from uh, tomorrow for to sign up for Tourist Tourist. So I see a lot of children here. If you want to sign up, that's a great program, like a summer school, Bible school. From first grade to sixth, we meet during the day, and seven, eight, and high school in the evening. So please, if you want to, really, that's a very good program. You know, the kids are going to play games and activities, and we have mass every day in the evening for the teen. So we have a very good program. If you want to sign up, please take the brochure in the bulletin or in the uh, vestibule. And also once a month we want to recognize for those who are visitors, for those who are new, and for those who are new in the one for one month, or you've been coming here uh, like within a month, or new today, we ask you please stand so we can recognize you. So any new visitors? Uh, okay, we have so... We have the usher will bring you the card, okay? And anybody get stand up? All right, so oh, another one in the back there. So yeah, someone will give you a card, and Mother Theodore Guerin card and for the information. So thank you and let us welcome all our visitors of new parishioners to our community. Let us also thank the uh, choirs, the children's choir today, for their good, good job singing. I know, as I said, during the summertime, I know that you do vacation, there's a lot of time, but um, we have a leadership of the word for children once a month here, the first uh, uh, week of the month, Sunday of the month. Also, in, in the summertime, but really, I really encourage you to pre invite your children, your family to come back to church. That's important. Good to see many confirmation candidates, as you promised that you will come every Sunday for the Sunday Mass, okay? So I will see, I recognize a lot of faces, so I will see to see you, okay? So good to see many of you here. Thank you very much, and have a good week, everyone. And please stand. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Now let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please join us in our closing hymn, Sing a Joyful Song, found in your journey book, number 595.